Well, the way I like to work is to have my own shot at the first cut without the director's input, other than him explaining to me what his intention is and what he's hoping to achieve in a scene, rather than getting into the specifics of how he wants it uh, cut. Sometimes directors are very specific in their shooting, so there's not really much question about what their intention is. Other times may shoot it in a variety of ways, which leaves a certain amount of discretion to me. But I like to have the freedom on the first cut to do it as I see fit, and then present it uh, in toto to the director, then make adjustments from there, starting from that point. In the first cut, I like to put everything in. I, I try to include as much as possible so we can see what's there, and then we, from that we can start to focus where we want to be and eliminate the stuff that's not important. But I think it's important to see it all in full context before you start eliminating it. Well, to a degree, it makes no difference because I tell people that writing is not about the pencil. You know, the tools doesn't ma you know, don't matter. It's t editing is not a technical pursuit. If it were, I'd be in trouble. Would Shakespeare have written better plays if he was working on a word processor? You know, I don't think it really makes any difference. That said, now the tools are becoming even more powerful so that you can do things inside the, the frame that you could never do before, you know. The, the technology is beginning to influence the work, but essentially what you want is to tell a story that keeps the audience's interest, doesn't confuse them. For my dead body. Yes, I bet you have. It never feels like it's going too fast, never feels like it's going too slow, doesn't feel like it's too short, doesn't feel like it's too long. That's, that's the objective, and it gives you a satisfying dramatic or comedic experience that you, know, you try to maximize. Well, editing is a bit of a misnomer because most of the time I spend on a film at first is building, not editing. I'm building the structure of the film and the editing only comes, comes in later. But it's not true that editing is only involved in saving the picture. The editing is important even if everyone on the picture has done their job perfectly. Well, here's an example of uh, what I was just talking about, which is where everyone does their job really well. I found myself working on a picture called Ray, about the life of Ray Charles. And there's a sequence um, based on the song, Every Day. And it's a sequence where Ray is traveling by bus on the Chitlin circuit, and they're playing in club after club as they travel through the south. And there were scenes in one club, and then they're on the road again, and then they're in another club, and then they're on the road again. And I would look at the script, and it would say, it would say music continues. So I just basically followed what the script was saying, but I found that I had put together something I thought was very uh, beautiful and unexpected. I was working on an avid that for the first time I started trying things. I would say, what does this button do? What, what does this do? I wonder what this does. Let me try this. Let me try this effect. Let me try that. And uh, I would use some very slow pushes where one image would replace the other very slowly. And I did some things with luma mats where instead of a color mat separating the foreground and the background, it would be something based on intensity of light. So um, I think it's a, it's a wonderful sequence I'm quite proud of. Well, if, if this were a comedy, I would say timing. Get on! 
going the wrong way! What? Fuck. Why? <laughs> But timing is important. You know, it's all about timing. I love you. I know. Gauging how long an actor should maintain eye contact with another before he looks away. <laughs> and then looks back. I think the important thing is to be sensitive to the intention of the scene and to use whatever means you have to maximize that intention.